Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Another day, another spooky Halloween autumnal, mostly spooky palette. Um, I've got the Nomad Cosmetics Ghost Town USA palette. I recently just played around with the Nomad Cosmetics Haunted Europe, so I'll link that up in the cards. I always forget what side it's on. I think it's this side, pretty sure, over by my light switch, which in the new setup eventually will not be there. My father commented on that the other day. He was like, you really need to change your background. And I was like, oh, okay, but why? And he was like, the light switch, it's just there. And I was like, yeah, can't move it. <laughs> so it's there until I, I change this background eventually when we get around to it in the house. But yeah, the Nomad Cosmetics Ghost Town USA palette. This was the Halloween palette that they released last year. This year, they haven't gone for a like spooky vibe palette. They've gone for the Chicago palette which has kind of got like drinks and kind of like very Frank Sinatra inspired like that sort of thing which I mean I think a lot of people were disappointed that they didn't bring out something that was a bit haunted they're very specific with what they are and it is location so they did haunted Europe and they did the ghost town US but it's I don't know how many other locations like real locations are spooky I don't know they could have done like a Transylvania palette like a location Transylvania that might have been cool but, you know Heads up, Nomad, if you want that idea, please take it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we've got the Ghost Town US. Honestly, this palette does excite me probably more than the Haunted Europe. But the Ghost Town US palette, obviously you've got that lenticular design where it's like normal to Ghost Town, which is really cool. Um, inside, it's this cool toned dream. I love cool tones, I love warm tones, I love colour, I love neutrals, I love all eyeshadows. Um, I do love the format of this though, it feels like it's easy to see the colour stories for me personally. I find it easier to know what I want to do with this than the Haunted Europe, but maybe that's just a layout thing. I just, I see the looks easier for this for me. Um, because I see like the greens and the olives here, the blues, like the steely blues and greys, and then the browns, and like these pinky colours either side, which are kind of very with the kind of set of six so i could go monochromatic i mean you know i really want to go for this green but then i also want to go for the steely blue but i also want to go for the browns <laughs> i think this is a really 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 pretty palette i'll show you some swatches i haven't swatched this yet i've literally just opened it a couple of times just to firstly see if it was broken and make sure everything was good and the second time was me showing it to you in my previous video and that was kind of like the first time i was really looking at it properly but there's a few shades in here that I think are just absolutely stunning. I do want to do a smoky look. Um, I really, really do. So I think it's a case of picking the shimmers and then maybe building the mattes around that. I really would love to use this shade Quicksilver up here. Like this shade as well, Fool's Gold. So maybe we lean between the greens and the blues today. And maybe we just like put something on the lower lash line from the browns. I don't know. But this is a really, really pretty palette. Let's zoom you in and let's get into this. Let's create a little look. I think the first shade I'm going to go into is this shade called Stagecoach Mary, which I'm pretty sure, is that not like a, a bandit? I'm pretty sure that's a bandit name, isn't it? Like a real bandit. And I'm just gonna put that shade in the crease. This is actually far more pigmented than I was expecting. I think I wanna do my classic dark to light in the inner corner, but I kinda wanna do like a two-toned look between these greens and blues. So I'll just keep this on the outer half of my crease. And then I want to take the shade Skinner's Saloon, this one here, and I'm just going to put this in the inner half of my crease. And I'm just kind of blending it out into itself. I'm going to take a little fluffy brush and go into the shade Ghost Town, this one here, and just blend along the edges. I might have to go back and forth a little bit, but just kind of smoking out that green on the outer corner. I'm then going to take the shade Calico CA, this one right here, and I'm going to give it a little spritz. And I just want to plonk this on the, not like the most outer corner, I want to leave a tiny, tiny little gap for a darker matte shadow in a minute, but 
I'm just gonna plonk this right here. I've just wiped off that brush a little bit, but it's just stained, but it's absolutely fine. Um, I'm then gonna go into the shade Gold Rush, this one right here. And then I wanna put this in the center of the lid. I'm trying to do it slightly at an angle, because you can see that the whole look is kind of going up at a very, very slight angle. So I'm just trying to meet that together at a very slight angle. Again, I just wiped off that brush on my Sigma Switch. I'm gonna go into the shade Quicksilver, this one right here. And then I wanna put this, oh, that's so beautiful. I wanna put this in the inner corner here, the inner third, maybe I should say. And I just kind of wanna sit it over the top there like that. You can see it's kind of, it just pushes that angle up and it, stops it kind of like creeping in too much. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go between those three shimmers again and just kind of blend them all between one another, so it like uh, cleaning my brush in between as I go, just to kind of blend the colours in together and get them to the intensity that I want. To be honest, they're practically there, I'm just blending them together. I then want to go into the shade Rhyolite, uh, Rhyolite NV, which I think is Rhyolite Nevada. And then Calico was CA, like California. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's like stand to the state. So I'm gonna go into this shade and I'm just gonna pop this on the inner corner. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I like it, I like it, I like it. And then just to bring all the mattes back in together, the three mattes that I used, so I used these two here between the crease, so like the dark green and the dark blue. So I wanna go back in with that again and then blend back out with the light green, just to kind of smoke it out and get those edges back. I do find that when I've put the mattes down first, it creates the shape. And then when I put the shimmers on, sometimes it takes away the mattes. So I'm just gonna go back in with the same color mattes, only a little bit, and just kind of redefine them a little bit, just here just so you can actually see the colours come through and so it's not just shimmers. I want to try and keep it really simple on the lower lash line, so I'm just going to go into the Undead Sheriff this shade here. It's still cool toned and I think it's still gonna merge well. And because I've got that neutral inner corner, I think it's just gonna kind of seamlessly drag across, which is kind of what I want. Okay, for the outer corner, we have some really, really good deep shades here. We have this brown one here, which is gonna look amazing on the lower lash line. And then I've kind of used the darker green here in my outer corner. And then we've kind of got like this purpley shade, like it's very, it's kind of purple leaning, I don't wanna use that. So I think I'm gonna go for this one because it's kind of green and blue leaning. Whereas this one is just more straight up blue and the blue is more here, not here. So I'm gonna go for this shade on the outer corner and then this shade on the lower lash line of the outer corner and then kind of try and see if I can blend them together with the same brush and just clean off the brush in between just so I'm not like getting it too muddy. So yeah, let's go into Calamity Jane on the outer corner on the upper lid and Deadwood on the lower lash line in the outer corner. see that I'm trying to create this like little triangle effect as if it were a wing but not quite still going in the direction that I want and then I'm going to take the brush that I was using with Stagecoach Mary there's nothing on it but you can see it's still stained from the product so there'll be absolute residual product on there and just kind of take that shade and blend it upwards I think I really like that I'm going to take the fluffy brush that I had Ghost Town on. You can see what colour that is there. Um, I did take just an absolute touch. Like I literally went dink. 
So basically nothing on it. What do we think of this then? I really like this. I really like this look. Oh, I feel very pretty. I feel very pretty in this look. I have got a tiny bit of fallout. I don't learn from my mistakes. I always end up putting my foundation on first. Will I learn? Probably not. I'm gonna go away and duplicate this on the other eye and put some mascara on. I might even feel like a little half lash. I feel like this look needs a little half lash. It's spooky. Oh, do you know what? I really like this. I wish I created a look like this and I was in love with it, like I was with the ghost, no, no, not ghost town. This is the ghost town, the haunted Europe. The haunted Europe look just wasn't there for me. Like I just, it was so close, but so far, I just wasn't in love with it. This, I'm kind of like, mm, feeling myself, you know? Okay, let's go away, let's duplicate it, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to make a little little pit stop, make a cup of tea in my brand new egg mug, which I'm actually obsessed with, and hang out my washing, doing all the adult things that need to be done. This is the look, you guys. I love it, I love it. I was gonna put lashes on, I just suddenly just, I was going to put lashes on and decided against it. I'm wearing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. I didn't like this mascara the first time I tried it and I think now it's like dried out a little bit and I was just careful and layered it up nicely and really tried to separate out the lashes when I did it. I actually quite like it. I think it's quite nice. I am very fortunate to have long lashes but they just droop so for the sake of the video, I mean, if I was going ah ah, if I was going to leave the house and go ah ah, I would, um, out out, by the way, if you don't know that joke, but never mind. Um, I'd put some, like, half lashes on just to give that extra volume on the outer corner. I'll zoom in a minute and show you. I also put the Urban Decay uh, 24 Glide On Eye Pencil in Trick on my lower lash line. Just add, like, a little bit of bronze hint in the lower lash line. Let me, like, zoom you in and show you. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see, like, the bronze on the lower lash line. The lashes, honestly, like, my lashes are... I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually, I don't know what I'm doing to them. I'm not doing anything to them. Maybe I'm not picking them as much, I'm not sure. But they're actually in pretty good condition. Like they're actually thick and long. God knows how I've got to this stage. I, there's no secret. I just don't know what I'm doing. But apparently I'm doing something well. Um, but they're not very curly. So I would just have to keep pushing them up. But you know, I think this look is really nice. I really like it. This to me is like a grungy look. It's not necessarily Halloween, but it's grungy, smoky. It's kind of, you know, the cool toned dream in my mind. I love this. This is like glam. This is my beautiful glam. I love this. This eyeshadow palette is stunning. I really like it. I'm really excited to try like these purple shades as well with like the steely blue and do like a purple steely blue look. I'm very excited for that. Honestly, I really, really like this palette. Let me zoom you back out because I'm like right close. My like, hello. Let me know if you picked up this palette or if you picked up No Man's latest palette. Again, I know it's not um, like spooky themed. It is definitely like the Chicago drinks, jazz club, speakeasy sort of theme, which actually I think is pretty cool. But I really love this palette. I think this is genuinely one of my more favorite, more favorite, most favorite um, Nomad palettes. It's really, really lovely. I love the format. Love the ratio to mattes to shimmers. It's half and half. I do typically like more mattes than shimmers, but because this kind of lends itself, it has depth within the shimmers, I think it's okay. I, I really like it. I would have liked one more lighter shade, one more kind of light blue or bone colored shade, just something a little bit lighter because you have the depth here 100% and you have the mid-tones. I'd have just liked one more lighter color because we've only really got this one and I can't really mix this with like the pinkier shades. It's not a problem, I'll just reach into another palette if I wanted that, but that's just kind of the one thing that's missing for me, in my mind, maybe one of these could have gone, one of these, and it could have been a lighter shade. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't tried those two shades, so I can't really speak to it. You've seen the swatches. Um, I'll throw out the swatches again, just so you can see them, because why not? But I really, really like this palette. I think it's a really, really lovely, neutral, but leaning into colour palette. I really like it. What do you think about it? Do you own it? Do you want this now? Have I made you, have I made you want to make a purchase? I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry about this one because this is honestly, this is one of my favourite Nomad palettes, I think. I'd love to do a Nomad ranking at some point, maybe. Um, yeah, I really like it. I really like it. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. I have no idea what palette is next in my little spooky 
spooky palette series um but yeah i can't wait for it i'm enjoying just playing around with all these colors it's absolutely fantastic for me i'm enjoying myself like i said let me know if you own this palette have you got any nice looks that you can tag me in on instagram that you've created send them to me on instagram my instagram handle is always linked to the description bar down below i'm not as active on there as i would like to be but i am active as in i scroll i just don't I don't upload as much as I probably should and would like to but yeah if you've got any looks that you've created and you want to show me and give me some inspiration to use this palette please do because I really really like seeing what you guys create it's really fun thumbs the video up if you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos I upload take care stay safe and I'll see you in my next one bye